As Lisa showed us, there is more rain on the way, but is it enough to help our parched plants? Well, Randy Roush joins us live at Bates Nursery with some answers. Randy? Hey guys, we are live at Bates Nursery here in Northwest Nashville, where we're actually inside. They've had some rain over the last hour here, so we're staying dry. In fact, since the start of the weekend, they've had over three inches of much needed rain. And of course, they know how to take care of flowers here, and that's why all their stuff looks great. But your stuff at home may not be in such good shape. In fact, a lot of shrubs, bushes, in fact, we were talking about this earlier, trees look horrible out there. And one thing we wanna tell people tonight, just because we've gotten all this rain, don't stop walking. Watering. That's right, Randy. We want to make sure that everyone needs to keep in mind that the ground has just gotten into a position where you can start to really absorb water. Don't let up. Keep your watering going. That way the trees have the great opportunity to come back and push the new foliage back out. Real quickly, a lot of folks have annual flowers out there, so we're going to show this real quick. What do they do? If they look like heck, what do you do to make them look good? Cut off all this extra growth. Oh my gosh, just trim it. Divide. Real haircut. Haircut. Then... You want to fertilize it with an organic type fertilizer. This is a good opportunity here. And then in about three or four weeks, you'll have something that looks more like that. So bottom line, the annuals will come back. You just need to trim them. Particularly Vinca, they're very heat tolerant. Okay. Speaking of heat, our own Todd Dunn found an irrigation system that is really changing one area farm. 